Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Disney Likes You Challenge Generation 7 which is Frozen Part 11. So we're currently at what? I don't think so. Get home, sir. What a little kitty. Oh my god, he got a cat. Harry has a cat and its name is Tigger. That is so cute. Part of me would be like, okay, we keep the cat. We name the we keep the cat's name as Tigger because it's a Disney name. But then I'm like, but there's so many good Frozen names. That like, cause I want an Olaf. I want an all white animal named Olaf, and I want a Sven. I think I want an all white cat named Olaf, and I want like a German Shepherd or something for Sven. Hmm. Doesn't look anything like Tigger though. Okay, I need to, we need Kristoff home. Also, I know, I guess Kristoff technically has a last name. It's like Jorgensen or something. Um, but nobody knows what the heck Jorgensen is. <laughs> so I gave him the last name of Arendelle instead. Here, please don't disappear. Super He's like, yes, pretty girl. <laughs> I like your cat. Oh my goodness, and they're attracted to each other. <gasps> Look here what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot. Oh, we're both animal lovers. I totally forgot she was an animal lover. <laughs> Jasmine learned that Kristoff is an animal lover. Which means he can build a relationship with cats, dogs, and horses more quickly, but at a lower rate than other pet-specific pet traits. I actually thought about doing Sven as a horse instead, uh, especially because we're only supposed to have one kid in the next generation. But then I was also like, as much as I love horses, I don't really want to get like sidetracked from the challenge with a horse. Because the horses are a lot more TLC than the dogs and cats are. Like, I love horses to pieces. Okay, we're gonna... I don't think he has a career yet. Uh, we're gonna get him in the music career, though. Uh, compliment. Uh, consider his attractiveness. I think it's probably gonna be like a 10 out of 10 or something. Uh, he's about diving. And he's about new house. He is okay. He did get into the music. Okay, good, good. Do do new house. Do's about music. Get to know. Uh, gossip. Share secret. I know you think I'm hot. No. No, blindingly stunning, 10 out of 10. I think you. The horrors of horoscopes. Sure. Uh, I had Elsa call in fake sick to work, so she's actually still at home sleeping. Um, and... Jack did go to work though because he worked at like one. So I'm like, yeah, he's, he's fine. He can go to work. <laughs> My favorite music is geek rock. Toby Lamar and Clara. Isn't Clara Ramsey his baby mama? <gasps> it, it, not, not Kristoff's, Hans, that's Hans' baby mama. <laughs> he had Leo, Theo, something like that. He had a baby. Did she have another kid? Is this Hans' kid too? Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, he had two kids! <gasps> and this was a baby!
Wait. Does this mean he's been sleeping with her? Hmm. He loves the cold. We don't. We love the heat. Which definitely is. Elsa, wait, she is awake. Okay. No, don't react, pet. I guess we didn't have a great date. Never mind the fact that we got engaged. Is he lazy? How's he learning to do lazy at work? Oh, we're friends! Okay, we need to become best friends, though, before we can move forward. Um, no, I keep accidentally clicking on her. Kristoff has a good sense of humor. Yes, he does. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Oh. So put your best face on. Everybody pretend you know this song. Everybody come hang. Let's go out with a bang. Bang, bang, bang. I'm stuck in my head and I don't know why I can't get it out. No matter hard, how hard I try, that was terrible. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that song's been stuck in my head all day. That song, I Hope You Dance by Amy Lee Womack. Um, and then, so if any of you have TikTok, you probably know the, like, Moral of the story song. Like, uh, I guess it depends on what side of TikTok you're on. But, um, we need to become best friends. Should we? Let's go to a movie! There should be a movie plan. That's not a date. Wait, do we literally. Oh, we're like right next door to the movie theater. Okay, got it. Uh, he has to agree to go, you know, because he can go on a date. No, form a group with me. We're gonna bump these things up. See? I love to hang out. Hey, we could go swimming <laughs> in this weather. <laughs> We're gonna go attend movie. Um, I, I totally feel like they would go to some kind of, uh, I don't know what any of these are. I feel like they would go to a comedy, but I don't know what any of those movies are. I can only kind of guess that, like, this is a romance movie, action movie, you know, maybe like a horror or something? I don't know. <sighs> I haven't been to the theater in forever. Stupid virus. No, okay, what other songs? <laughs> um, Monsters, which is by Black Bear and is it John Bellion? I think that song is really good. It's really short though. Oh, I was talking about the moral of the story song, wasn't I? No, it's by All Time Low, not John Billion. Um, I'm just, okay, that's why I thought, because he has the song All Time Low, so that's, I'm at an all time low, 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 yeah, that song. No. Oh, and now I totally am blanking on the song. 
Um, Yeah, talking to my lawyer, she said, Where'd you find this guy? I say some people fall in love with the wrong people sometimes. Some mistakes can make. That's alright, that's okay. You can think that you're in love when you're really just in pain. Some mistakes can make. That's alright, that's okay. In the end, it's better for me. That's the moral of the story, babe. That, so, if you've heard that song, it's the same um singer but she has a new song called save myself um i could have saved myself time and so much money that's like the wrong key but i should have saved myself from you something like that and i just yeah, I don't know what that was. That was terrible. But it's really catchy. I heard it on... So... <laughs> my Mustang... And I guess this is a common... So I drive a 2012 Ford Mustang, for those of you who don't know. It is my baby. I love it to pieces. Why can I not pick up the stupid newspaper? What is this? Can you pick... Can you do this? I don't want you to chew on it. I want to get rid of it. Is she gonna get rid of it? I don't know. Um, but for some reason, uh, like every other month, sometimes every two months or so, the Bluetooth in my car stops working. And this is a apparently a very common problem in basically anything that was built by Ford in like the 2012 year. Uh, like their Bluetooth is called Sync. And this is just, it's a common problem. And Ford won't fix it. Like, you can take it in, Ford claims they fixed it, then you get it back, and then like a month or two later, it's doing the same thing all over again, where it claims it can't connect to your phone, but then it still has a little Bluetooth logo, like, hey, I'm connected to your phone, but it won't play anything, it won't let you make any phone calls, like, it just totally glitches out. So, we have found that the solution is disconnecting my car battery for like a minute and then it's fine I reconnect the battery I start the car kind of I have set my clock back to where it's supposed to be and turn my base back up a little bit because I that car has an excellent base it's amazing I'm one of those annoying people okay so I don't have my base turned all the way up but I can be considered one of the annoying people that, like, if you're sitting in your car at a stop sign, or at a stoplight, um, you're blonde. was it a, a comedy? It was a comedy! I Go me! <laughs> uh, no, we're not having a bachelor party. Stop. But, I try when I, like, come up to a stoplight or something to turn, the, like, if I turn the volume down, then the bass goes down with it. But there are actually a couple songs that, for whatever reason, have a way stronger bass than other songs in my playlist. Because I prefer to use my, like, Spotify playlist instead of the radio. Because, I'm not going to lie, most of the songs on the radio today, I think, are absolute trash. <laughs> I don't like a lot of them. So, I don't really want to listen to the radio. I feel like music is just on this, like, really steep decline. But that is totally my own personal opinion I am very picky about my music um so yeah are we best friends we you be no we're still good friends I want to be best friends I've gotten so off track that I don't remember what I was talking about <laughs> don't remember what I was talking about um, oh, I heard, so when my, like, if the sink stops working with the car while I'm, like, on my way to school or, like, just on my way out, 
I don't have any other choice because I'm not going to sit in the car quiet, like in a silent car. Are there any diners open? I know she won't really eat much, but I could be going to a diner. Let me. Can I eat you? I don't know what I did. Blag! I don't know who that is. Eat with Drew. Yep, we'll go do that. Uh, so, I put the radio on, and I heard, so Monsters was on a couple of days ago, and see, I like Black Bear, actually, like, I really like Hot Girl Bummer. Well, see, I did. I, I really liked that song, but that was a song that I introduced to Sarah, and basically anything to do with Sarah at this point is... I like wrinkle my nose and you like my mood crashes <laughs> so I really liked hot girl bummer um, and it, it, is, it is not it is a very explicit song um, I mean like the main line is F you F you F you um, I hate your friends and they hate me too yeah, her friends absolutely despise me now, and my friend despises her. I'm like, yeah, my single friend. Okay, we're not going to talk about it. But it's just, it was almost like it was forecasting, like foreshadowing. I don't know. But I, I, I still like Black Bear. Like, he did a song with Marshmallow called Tongue Tied that I thought was really catchy, and then this song came on, and... I think this song is super catchy and that's the same way I found uh, Save Myself. It was on the radio. No, she's not tired. Let's work on your charisma. And then I Hope You Dance is I listen to country stations too. Like I like country and pop are probably my two main like types of stations and a lot of people like kind of crap on country music anymore and the thing is country music is sending more and more like pop music with a little bit of, like a tad of country to it so I'm actually not really liking most country music but I have a station that is like early 2000s like late 90s early 2000s uh, country music and this song I hope you dance by Amy Lee Womack will play because she's from like the late 90s or something so, I always enjoy listening to that song. And bang. Yes, singing a, like a, a little bit ago. Ooh, stay for dessert. Gosh, oh, I, I did it. I got it in time. Wait, wait. Aw, oh, no, I didn't. Oh, that did get I got her hunger all the way up. I didn't think it would. Hmm, there's a plant. A nice plant. What does this even say? Some films strike the perfect balance of great dialogue and engaging characters and gripping plots. Oh. I was hoping I was actually going to talk about like... Oh, that's a cute sign. I don't have ADHD, I swear, but... I'm just kind of in the mood that like anything is grabbing my attention. <laughs> Are we best friends now? <laughs> I want to be your friend. Okay, we're going to disband the group. Is it a good time? You sure know how to have a good time. Call me any time for fun or whatever you concoct. Iron Man. Uh, okay, we're gonna go home. We'll let him do the same. So, we're best friends now. I want to get Elsa. Uh, the next part is definitely gonna be more focused on Elsa and Jack. Uh, because I want to get them married and I want them to go to one of the resorts and like basically do like their wedding and then a honeymoon kind of thing. And then we're gonna do after that is gonna be the, the we're gonna move Kristoff in for a little while and it'll be the near death experience thing. Oh, he came with us. 
Dude, I didn't need you to come to my house. Are you just dropping me off like a gentleman? Are you making sure I get home safe? Thank you. Okay. We need to have our near-death experience. Uh, um, which... It's not letting my hydration. It's letting this thing run out. How often does this thing pop up? I don't, I don't remember. Is it like, I think it's every three days. Every three days? Let's Google this. <laughs> How often does the salt water deficiency Mood lit pop up. Oh, that's my timer. Every 48 hours. Ooh, every two days. <laughs> Ooh, this will work out great. I'm, <laughs> I'm in such a weird mood right now. God, um. <laughs> I'm new, I don't know why you are right there. I don't need your help. <laughs> okay, Jack. Jack, go to bed. No, we're not bathing a boo. No! No, I'm not. Oh, I am clicking on the shower. I'm like, I'm not clicking. Yes, I am. Go to sleep. I'm, he's not gonna sleep in that lake. Girl, you go to sleep too. You fix your relationship with your mother. <laughs> uh, so, go get married in the next part. Which is going to be... She has Saturday off. He does not. Gosh dang it. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no! Stop him! Stop him! Stop... <laughs> Abu, we do not chew on the guitar. That, oh my gosh. No, that is like major crime. <laughs> we do not destroy the guitar. Oh my gosh, no. I wanted the part in the moment so I can never actually get my thought across. So, we'll probably end up having them get married on Saturday. We'll have Jack take off work. He'll take off one unpaid day. I always regret doing one, and I always wish I'd do two. But we'll have him take off an unpaid day of work so they can go get married. We're going to go to one of the resorts. Uh, they can have a honeymoon. We're going to leave Jasmine. Should we bring Jasmine? Might as well. Just kind of let her wander around the resort. Um, so get married, have our little honeymoon. And then, are you for real? Okay, again, I'm not holding this against him because this is totally story progression. But that, oh, that is so annoying. Crowd. Okay, so they'll get married, have a honeymoon, and then after that, that'll probably be a whole part in and of itself. Uh, she should get this saltwater deficiency, deficiency mood lit again, either like Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday morning, hopefully. Fingers crossed, if what I just read can be trusted. Um, I need access. Uh. <gasps> I don't think that's what, that's not what I wanted. I wanted they're getting rid of this relationship. Tigger! Okay. Uh, female. We're getting rid of this whole Genevieve. I like the name Genevieve. It's a pretty name. Oh, okay. I just didn't scroll down far enough. Uh, stranger. Okay. 
but then by Saturday, Sunday, we should be off the honeymoon. We should be back home. We will move Kristoff in temporarily. Oh. Yeah, we'll move Kristoff in temporarily um, just so he can be here. Uh, we'll probably end up moving Hans in temporarily as well. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hmm. Skeen, skeen, skeen. <laughs> so nine hours from five o'clock. Hold on. Okay, let me look at my watch here. <laughs> okay, so if we're going from, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that'd be two o'clock. If we got them married at 11. I really want Jasmine there. Oh, this... Wait, this might work out actually really well. Because if I remember right, where it's actually like another couple of hours after the saltwater deficiency one runs out. And then we went through like, it was like another three hours. And then Elsa turned back into a human, right? What if we got married today? Because they both have the day off work. Ooh, and then we move Kristoff and Hans in. We'll go ahead and do that. Move those two in. Plan the wedding. Go get married. We will kind of, we'll hop back and forth because we're going to leave Hans, Kristoff, we'll, we'll let them come to the wedding. Then we're going to send Hans, Kristoff, and, uh, not Anna, Jasmine home. We're going to lock Jasmine upstairs. I'm basically going to, I don't know if the game will let me. <laughs> I might just have to barricade the stairs because I don't know if, this thing's gonna be, like, if the townhouse is gonna be stupid and be like, you can't add walls or whatever. Ooh, it's all coming together. This will actually, this works out even better. Okay. It'll be kind of annoying hopping back and forth between Elsa and Jasmine, but j I should have enough time to get, like, some cute pictures with Elsa and Jack on their honeymoon and their wedding and stuff, because Jasmine will be there. Then Jasmine will come back home we're gonna lock Kristoff and Hans down here. Kristoff is gonna have no idea that Hans has uh, quote unquote locked Jasmine. Will it let me put a wall up? <laughs> I would delete the stairs, but I get the feeling the, the house is gonna go, you can't do that. Should I be doing this right now? No. I need to find a way to get rid of this newspaper too. Well, let me grab it. No, I don't want the rug. I don't want the rug. I want the newspaper. I don't want the rug. I want the newspaper. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. Well, we'll just move it. Well, can I? I can. Ha ha ha. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, things just got super interesting. Okay, so... We'll teleport everybody else downstairs when the need, like when they need to. But I have that done. Okay. Hans, Kristoff, moving in. We're planning the wedding. We're getting married. Um, they'll be on their honeymoon. This is all gonna be the next part, by the way. <laughs> Fingers crossed, it'll be the next part. Um, I keep losing my train of thought. Jasmine and the two guys will be here at the house. Elsa and Jack will be on their honeymoon. Jasmine is going to run out of her saltwater deficiency. And we'll get like that last like three or four hours. And then she's going to pass out. I will have 30 minutes to get Kristoff upstairs to rehydrate her. That's not what I want. Wait. 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 <laughs> No! Hold on, now I'm mixing up moodlets. Okay, no. Jasmine needs to have her hydration get all the way down. I mean, I'm still going to use this basically as my timer. But when it comes down to, you know, she has like three hours. And then uh, when she hits three hours, I will drop her hydration like all the way. I think. Yeah, I'll drop her hydration all the way, and then 
I'll have like 30 minutes or whatever to get Chris off upstairs to rehydrate her, saving her life, but then hopefully that doesn't mess with the salt water deficiency and she can turn human. And then we can beat up Hans and kick him out. <laughs> okay, does this sound like a plan? Does this sound like a plan? I think this sounds like a plan, guys. Okay. I'm so sorry this went on for so long. I was totally just talking in circles and getting distracted, which I'm normally not, but I haven't recorded for a while and now I'm, ha I'm having a lot of fun right now. And I'm not tired per se, but I'm still in a weird mood. <laughs> so, okay, that's the plan. I'm literally gonna end this part, turn around and start setting up for that one. I'm really excited, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I do have my gaming channel link down in the description below. Um, a couple weeks ago, I posted a video asking you guys what you would like me to play when the Sims 4 A to Z baby challenge is over. That poll is changing all of the time. Almost every time I look, I have something different in the lead. So totally make sure you check that out and vote uh, so you can have you know your say in what you want to see next. And yeah, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.